What's happening, Cog Squad? It's a big move today. Previously on the Cog Vlog. So we're taking Mary Carl to a chicken show. I'm getting us a little tote because I told him we can only get what can fit in this. That's it. Putting my foot down. We're taking this. That's it. Mary Carl wants to show y'all all her new chicken she got at the chicken show. This is April, and this one's emu, and this one's lemon red. What's up, guys? Jason over here at Cod Kill. In today's video, we got to do some rearranging. We got to move a chicken coop so we can move some chickens out that kind of gotten too big. Also, to make room for Mary Carl's newest addition, that we got from the chicken show. So, y'all come on. Tractor, driver in the making. TNT! Y'all are a scary bunch of dudes, I'm here to tell you. We got this, this mineral bucket. You can really see it on topper. But they rub their head on it and it turns their head red. And it looks like they've just been head banging a wall full of nails. Your car already lit. JP and him out this morning. What's up? Make sure y'all got feed and water. JP, what's up, girl? Say hello to everybody today, JP. I gotta go. That candy. Hey, sugar. It's not heavy, but I'm scared it's so awkward that it... I moved it with a tractor. You did? Yeah. Because I couldn't move it by Is myself. Is there anything you can't do with a tractor? No. <laughs> Just think, if I had a bulldozer, I could move mountains. <laughs> somebody, already, somebody, somebody already said that they're going to start you a GoFundMe in the comments for your new bulldozer. Look at here. Look at here. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking... So what are you thinking? I'm thinking that Mary Carl's little polishes are getting too big to be in the barn anymore. I agree. And it's just too overcrowded. It is getting too overcrowded. And I'm thinking if we move this ultimate chicken coop in the fenced in area where the permanent coop's gonna be, yeah. we could put her little polishes in there and then there they could goes. maybe walk around in that fenced in area when we're outside and right. get used to the area and get them out of that confined space. Uh, it's like they grew overnight. The I mean, it hadn't looked this congested right. until now. Well, but we'll they're growing up. Oh, they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're getting big. Kind of like Mary Carl. Pretty soon she's going to be in her own coop. That's right. Yeah, let's take the top off of it and oh, let's move this sucker. Right. I mean, you know what I like about this ultimate chicken coop? What do you like about it? That you can pick it up and take it wherever It is you so want. portable. This thing. Uh, well, we've had it all over the place. We've had I mean, it all. Yeah, we definitely. How many definitely. places have we moved it? My gracious. And every time we need a space, it's we got it. comes in handy. We got it. And then when they get too big for this, they can go into can the go big out. wide world. Right. We can just carry it like this. Don't you think like this? Yeah, that works. You go get the rest, okay? I do get asked about, you know, is the little tractor worth it? Do we use the little tractor? And I always say, we use it for things that are not, you know, like Mrs. Kakio tearing down the percula. But we use it for things that, you know, that are not conventional really, like us moving this chicken coop. I mean, we use it for a ton of stuff and it has been worth every penny to us. 
Not just your normal tractor stuff, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Just like that. Just like that. There's a chicken in here sitting on eggs. Oh my God. <laughs> Not in there. <laughs> this is wonderful. <laughs> Are you ready? She just drove on the tractor. All the way over here. It's the Millie floor. Oh my gracious. She rode on the tractor, on the eggs. What is she doing? Laying. She's laying. Oh my gracious. She what? is. She meant business. We didn't even think to look in there. Well, there's never a big chicken. She's not a big chicken. She's bantam, but she's not supposed to live in here. She never goes in there. Well, she does now. Well, she had a little nice tractor, right? <laughs> and it was completely like this. Girl. She meant business. She meant business. That is funny. That is hilarious. What's happening, Scott? I think he knows his name. You see him look at me? What's up, Scott? I'm pretty sure he knows his name. Got a feeder. Got to clean this water out. Okay. You know, in the last video, we talked about how, well, Mrs. Cockill talked about how I can't keep up with nothing and I lose things and forget things. Well, she just found my sunglasses. <laughs> uh, in the processing area. <laughs> at least, at least they're cheap dollar store sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing. Is if they were not cheap dollar store sunglasses, they'd still be over there. <laughs> that's why, that's why I don't get high dollar sunglasses. So, you think put the feed up here in the front part? Yeah. And it's got a built in feeder and water in it up here. Right here. You put feed and water in up here if you want to. But most of the time they're down on the ground. They don't go up in there to eat and drink. What is it? I told her I think she needs to teach them how to get up here in case it rains and get off the but ground. How about we put them up there in the first place and we can put some food and water in the top? So, what are these chickens we put in here? Polishes, a Spitzhaven. A Polish and a Spitzhaven. Who's a Spitzhaven? There's a little Spitzhaven in there. Where'd it come from? I don't know. All right, what do you think? She's looking at us like you are disturbing the yeah. peace. Why is uh, the top part right there? Oh, I had to set them down. You want to put them in through the front right there? Or you want yeah, to open let's the put top? them in right there. They are crazy. Okay. Well, yeah, let's put that top on and then we can open up this. Okay, we'll do that then. Alright, Mary Carl, what is this one? Spitzhaven. A Spitzhaven. Alright, you ready? Mm -hmm. What is this? That's just a Polish. What's that, Mary Carl? Another Polish. <laughs> and what's this? Another Polish. Maybe we ought to change our name to Cock Hill Polish Farm. <whistles> you don't want to grab a peanut butter honey sandwich? I tell you, she's been working hard today. Mary Carl, you want to drive this coop? She might need a bulldozer for Christmas, too. <laughs> Hey y'all, y'all be sure you stay tuned for the huge 50,000 subscriber giveaway. It's just a huge thank you from us. We got several companies that support us that are participating in a huge giveaway. So you do not want to miss this. this that video is going to come out later this week. So be sure you guys stay tuned for that. Can y'all tell? Hey, if you like smiling and laughing and having a good time and want to know what it's like living on our family farm, hit that subscribe button. Be sure you hit the bell notification button. That'll let you know when we upload a video. And as always, y'all be good.